I want to tell you how I fixed my poor eyesight. I had long sightedness, short sightedness, astigmatism, and monocular double vision. I was short sighted when I was in school and I became long sighted in my 40s. Short sightedness is when you can see things close to you, but what is that? Distance is blur. Long sightedness is when you can't read the text in the book. Everything that is close by is difficult, slightly blurred. But whatever you see in a distance, like the mountains and the valleys and the trees far away, are very sharp and clear. So when I hit my 40s, I had both short sightedness and long sightedness. So I went to an optician to get bifocal lenses. That means they have both correction for short sightedness and long sightedness. Unfortunately, that was a mistake because when I was walking down supermarket alleys, I found it a little bit blurry. That's because the shelves were either a little too far for my short sightedness or they were a little too close for my long sightedness. So everything was really a blurred vision. At least uncomfortable to view anything specific in detail. Later in life, I found out that a spoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in water, a glass of water, really improved my vision. I didn't notice anything the first day. But on the second day, I realized that everything was becoming 3D, very clear. The sky was really blue and the grass was really green. Everything was sharp and clear while using my specs. And I realized that my eyes had degenerated over the years very gradually. So I didn't notice that my eyesight was degenerating. Thank God for apple cider vinegar. Let me sidetrack a little bit. My eyeglasses get very dirty very frequently and I think it is because my eyelashes they rub on the specs and the oils on my skin transfer to the lenses the problem with that is eventually it will slowly spread and diffuse and it look like a, a patch a mask that is blocking my vision transparent translucent mask that is blocking my vision. So every two or three days I have to clean my specs and the simplest way and the most effective way I found out cleaning the specs is to wash them in soap and water and then use a clean cloth. Mostly I use my towel to wipe them dry and it's very effective and very long lasting. My specs have lasted me many years by doing that. Let me sidetrack again. Be careful as to what type of dark glasses you purchase. You see my glasses for short sightedness, which I use for driving and traveling around. I bought one that tinted darker in bright sunlight. At least that was what the optician told me. He showed me a picture of himself in Japan and his tinted eyeglasses were black. They were very dark and you could not see his eyes. He was trying to convince me to order the tinting coating for my glasses. Then he showed me how dark it could get when he put it under a UV light. These are photochromic glasses where darkness of the tint increases as the sun gets brighter due to the presence of UV in the sun. I fell for his scam. I paid a huge amount of money for the photochromic glasses, a thousand ringgit. That's about 240 US dollars or one month's minimum wage salary. When I got the spectacles and tried them out, they never worked properly. It never darkened to almost black and you could see my eyes in the darkest condition of the tint. How is it that Japan has more UV light than Malaysia? I asked him. Japan is much further north than Malaysia, so there should be less UV light in Japan than in Malaysia at noon when the sun is directly overhead. 
I even tried looking directly at the sun to ensure that the glasses received maximum UV light from the sun, but the glasses never got dark. He didn't answer. You know what I suspect? You know what I suspect? They were watering down the chemicals so that they could make more profits. They applied less chemicals on the eyeglasses so that their profit margins were higher. That was the reason that tinting never was dark enough for Malaysian weather. One day, the whole system of retail will collapse because people have had it to their neck in the frauds, schemes and scams that are operated by the businesses in Malaysia. Okay, where was I? I was explaining about my poor quality eyesight and how it had degenerated over the years. Actually, it got so bad that now, even though my left eye is blurred and with the specs I can see clearly, my right eye, this one, has double vision. I see people with four eyes because it's a vertical double vision. And I went to many uh, opticians and eye specialists and they they couldn't say anything. I think it's because I'm diabetic and I have this problem. But in the end, after running some experiments, because the problem I was facing was that when I watch TV, I will use my left eye to watch TV and it's very sharp and clear. But if I cover my left eye, I will see all the characters all the actors and actresses on TV, four eyes, two mouths, two noses, four ears, and it becomes irritating to watch. And eventually I found that my brain was switching to my left eye and wasn't using my right eye. And uh, I had to find a solution. And I tried a few things out and then I found out that actually I can correct it with my specs. I found out that if I use both my reading glasses and my short-sighted glasses, my vision is very clear. I can see clearly. So this is what I was doing. I put my short-sighted glasses, which I use when I'm driving around, and then I put my reading glasses on top. And the TV screen becomes very clear and I don't have double vision. It's wonderful, isn't it, that we we can help ourselves by simple things like this, having two glasses. Imagine if they change the world to have see, two lenses, one in the front and one at the back. Can you imagine? Would I have started a new fashion?